G'day guys, how's it going? I'm Aaron Whitnell, this is ACW Sport, and here are my predictions for the final four, last 16 knockout phase games of the 2017-2018 Champions League season, starting with the biggest tie of this week, Barcelona hosting Chelsea, and it was a thrilling game at Stamford Bridge in the first leg. Chelsea probably deserved to be going to the new Camp with a lead, William hitting both posts in the first leg, but Messi finally broke his Chelsea duck to get Barca a very important away goal and give them the advantage going into the game at the new Camp. Now, because of the fact that you know Barcelona have been formidable this season, they are still unbeaten, even Coutinho is starting to play well, even though he's cut tied for this game, um, I do have to give advantage to Barcelona in this game because Chelsea have been struggling. Um, in the past few months under Conte. One week they're really good, the next week they're really poor. Um, and in their two away games at Manchester United and Manchester City, they started off well against United but faded as the game went on. And again, Manchester City, it was just an embarrassing show. Um, I think they're going to go with similar tactics to the game they had at Old Trafford. But I think they will start Giroud up front over Morata, I think. Um, and I think that will allow Hazard and William to get forward a bit more. Um, saying that they have been quite flaky at the back recently, Chelsea, so it wouldn't surprise me if Barcelona did take full advantage of that. And that is why I'm going to go for a 3-1 scoreline in this game, which means Barcelona will go through 4-2 on aggregate overall. I'm going to say that Luis Suarez will score. I think Chelsea will equalise. I think it will either be Mata, uh, sorry, Morata or uh, Giroud for Chelsea that equalises. Even though I think they will start with Giroud, it also wouldn't surprise me if they started Morata. So it's whoever starts out of them that I think will get the goal for Chelsea. But then I think it will become the Messi show again, and I think he will score twice um, to send Chelsea through to the oh sorry to send Barcelona through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. The reason I think Chelsea will score, even though Barcelona have been so formidable, is because Chelsea have only failed to score once in their last six visits to the Camp Nou. That's basically all of their away ties that they've ever played in the Camp Nou. They like a goal there. That's why I think they'll get on the score sheet, and I think it will be quite a tight game. But in the end, I think Barcelona will have. Just enough class to get past Chelsea. So that's who I see going through from that tie. Then to Old Trafford for the next biggest tie of this week. And that is Manchester United hosting Sevilla. United, since the first leg, have had some fantastic results. Coming from behind to beat Chelsea. Coming from behind to beat Crystal Palace. And then, of course, beating Liverpool at the weekend. And I think because United have got that momentum. Whereas Sevilla, on the other hand, since the first leg, have won two, lost two. Including two big defeats at home. Firstly, 5-2 to Atletico Madrid. And then 2-0 to Valencia. I see United running out comfortable 3-0 winners at Old Trafford, which means they'll go 3-0 through on aggregate. And I see Romelu Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez and Marcus Rashford scoring for Manchester United in that game. Then Besiktas, they host Bayern Munich in a tie that is all but over because Bayern Munich won in the first leg 5-0. Since that tie, Besiktas have gone unbeaten. Um, and they will try to restore some pride because the atmosphere at their stadium is so formidable. Bay and Noah are still going to make it very hard for them because since that first leg, they've scored 10 goals in three games without conceding, including a 6-0 win at the weekend. But I do think Besiktas will get on the score sheet here. I'm actually going to go for a 2-2 draw in this game. I don't think Bayern will play a full-strength team, which is why I think it will also allow Besiktas to restore some pride and uh, you know get on the score sheet a couple of times and not lose at home in front of their own fans. But overall, Bayern will go through 7-2 on aggregate, in my opinion. And then finally, Roma hosts Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, this game's a real interesting one because Shakhtar, as we know, they are a real dark horse against anyone they play against. Um, as we know, they've beaten Manchester City so far this season. They beat Roma in the first leg 2-1. Um, and, you know, since the first leg, Roma haven't been particularly great. They have lost at home to AC Milan. They lost away at Napoli. Um, but they did beat Torino at the weekend, which restores their fairly comfortable position in third spot in Serie A, which is where I think they'll finish. Um, and since the first leg in terms of Shakhtar, they've won every game since without conceding. So because of that, I think this game will actually end in a draw. I think Roma will really go for it at home. But I think Shakhtar just have something about them that means they'll get through this tie. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Um, which means Shakhtar will go through 3-2 on aggregate overall. So, they're my predictions for this week's Champions League ties. Do you agree with my predictions? Please comment below, let me know. Always interested to find out what your say is. As always, I'm Aaron Whitnell. You've been watching ACW Sport. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for my Premier League review, which comes tomorrow. And then, obviously, later in the week, I've got Champions League reviews, FA Cup predictions, and, of course, Premier League predictions to come as well. So, I will see you guys again soon.